Every year, more than 100 billion eggs are produced in the United States. To produce this enormous quantity of eggs, millions of hens are needed. We visited a poultry farm to discover how chicken eggs are developed, made and processed. In the poultry farms of the United States, the production of chicken eggs begins with the breeding of hens specifically for egg laying. The hens are housed in barns designed to maximize their comfort and egg production. The whole process begins in the hen house, where the hens start laying eggs when they are 19 weeks old. Around 1,800,000 eggs are produced here every week. The operation is fully automated and computer controlled. The building is well ventilated with strictly controlled temperatures and humidity to stimulate egg laying. Fluorescent lighting simulates 15 hours of daylight per day. The hens are fed up to three times a day by fully automated feeders that bring food from silos, ensuring that the hens have constant access to fresh food. The feed is formulated to meet the nutritional needs of the birds, including a combination of grains, proteins, minerals and vitamins necessary for high-quality egg production. The hens also drink water within their cages. All these carefully monitored conditions are designed to maximize performance. Each hen can produce a maximum of one egg per day. Approximately 26 hours are needed between the laying of one egg and the development of the next. On average, a hen lays around 300 eggs per year. The process of egg formation in a laying hen is a biological marvel. When a hen is in its active laying stage, the nutrients from the food it consumes are converted into the essential components that will make up the egg yolk. These elements are transported through the bloodstream from the liver to the ovary, where the magic happens. Inside the ovary, tiny pockets of tissue known as follicles gradually fill with yolk and expand in size. The largest and most mature follicle in the ovary will release the yolk that the hen will deposit the next day. This sequence proceeds, with the next largest follicle producing the yolk for the following day, and so on. Within a span of one to two weeks, a follicle develops from less than one millimeter in diameter to reach the mature size of 25 millimeter. When a yolk has reached its maturity, the follicle ruptures along a line with few blood vessels, known as the stigma, thus releasing the yolk. At this point, the yolk embarks on a journey that lasts approximately 24 hours along the oviduct. During this journey, the yolk undergoes various stages of development. It is in the infundibulum, where the yolk, upon emerging from the follicle, moves upwards without being covered by a layer of egg white. This specific moment is the only one when the yolk is not surrounded by the egg white layer. The yolk remains in the infundibulum for approximately 15 minutes before continuing its journey to the magnum, where in a span of around three hours, it will be coated by a dense layer of egg white. Subsequently, the yolk and egg white pass into the isthmus, the next section of the oviduct, where the shell membranes are deposited. These thin layers of protein gently envelop the egg white covering the yolk, forming a structure that gives the egg its characteristic firmness. Then, the partially formed egg advances to the final part of the shell formation process, where in approximately 20 hours, the protective eggshell structure is completed. At this stage, a thin layer of egg white, mainly water, is secreted, which moves through the two shell membranes into the more concentrated egg white surrounding the yolk. This process gives the egg its characteristic shape and tightens the shell membranes around it. Next, a highly concentrated solution of calcium carbonate is secreted, which forms calcite crystals in the outer membrane of the shell. As these crystals expand, they intertwine to form a solid structure and, at the same time, leave tiny spaces between them, which become the pores of the shell. Finally, a special solution of proteins called cuticle is deposited on the eggshell. This cuticle, although allowing the passage of gases through the pores in the shell, acts as a protective barrier against bacteria, ensuring the integrity and safety of the egg. Once this shell formation process is complete, the fully formed egg is expelled from the hen's cloaca. Subsequently, the fully formed egg begins a new journey. If it has been fertilized, it will head to an incubator, while if not, it will head to an egg processing and packaging plant for distribution to supermarkets. The handling of the eggs is entirely automated. After laying, the eggs roll onto a conveyor belt in front of the cage. They then move onto a larger conveyor belt that transports the eggs to the packaging room. The hen's droppings fall through the bottom of their cages onto a conveyor belt. Still, some eggs get dirty, 
so they are thoroughly cleaned and disinfected later. The conveyor belt carries the eggs to an elevator at the end of each row. The flow of eggs quickly turns into a flood, with the conveyor belts carrying the eggs to the sorting room. The eggs enter the building from all the sheds. A worker checks for dust particles and debris that may remain on the eggs as they move on the conveyor. At this stage, the eggs are sorted by quality. The best ones end up on supermarket shelves, while lower grades are sent to egg processing plants. There, they are turned into ingredients used in food products, such as mayonnaise, cake mixes, or salad dressings. The sorting station is automated, high-tech and high-speed, processing 144,000 eggs per hour. A suction machine lifts the eggs from the trays and carries them to a cleaning station. At this station, a washer with soap and disinfectant gently cleans the eggs at 45 degrees Celsius. They then pass through a dryer for five seconds to evaporate moisture. The egg inspector examines the shell for dirt and uses a special light to inspect the interior for irregularities or blood spots. The eggs pass through a bright light to highlight the condition of the shells. Workers visually inspect and remove cracked eggs. Further along, a sorting camera evaluates the exterior of the shells. Acoustic sensors tap the eggs to check their strength, rejecting those that do not meet the quality grade. Approved eggs move on to electronic scales and are transported to the corresponding packaging line. Each egg is stamped with a batch number for quality control. A packaging machine places the eggs into containers and stamps expiration dates. They are placed with the wide end up to keep the yolks properly positioned. They are ready to be shipped to supermarkets. Next, the lower quality eggs are sent to the egg processing plant. They are then stored in a controlled cooler before passing through advanced separators. There, the liquid is extracted before pasteurization and packaging for sale. The eggs pass through a washing machine that uses mild detergent and hot water to remove dirt and potential pathogens from the shell. They are then rinsed with hot water to remove detergent residue. The state-of-the-art egg separator is responsible for processing all shell eggs, separating the yolks from the whites after they are broken into defined cuts. This incredible machine is capable of separating yolk from white from over 2 million eggs per day. When the eggs reach the machine, a blade cuts the shell and the egg is broken. The contents inside fall downward, keeping the yolk on top and allowing the egg white to flow into the bottom cup. As they pass through the separator, Small vibrations encourage the egg whites to drain through small holes on the sides of the cups. It is difficult to separate the yolk from the white due to a very delicate membrane surrounding the yolk. Once separated, the yolks are sent through pipes to the pasteurization section to eliminate bacteria and pathogens. They undergo a temperature-controlled pasteurization process. The yolks are then rapidly cooled to prevent bacterial growth. When the process is complete, Plastic bags are filled with the separated yolks, labeled and shipped from the factory to consumers. If you want to know how mayonnaise is made, watch the video on your screen, and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.